Today I'm going to talk about assembly, disassembly and modification. The first thing to do is remove the air injector handle. There's a 10mm locking nut here, which will loosen. Take off the handle, remove the lock nut. Now, 5mm Allen headed bolts. This comes straight off, which leaves us with the turbine pack and the air injector. The turbine pack is held together, you can see this, with a brass bush. The brass bush has a 3mm grub screw. It uses a 2.5mm Allen key to open that. The grub screw comes off. Discs Simply come off one at a time with their spacers in between. Now, I made these spacers out of, it's actually the centre of a disc just cut out. Then I got an email from somebody telling me that uh, McMaster Car do washers uh, very similar to this, uh, $3 for about 20 I'll put the washer, I'll put the part number up on the website. Uh, so I wish somebody told me before I set about making those. As you can see, the discs themselves are, the blades are just normal CDs. Um, if you want to experiment with a different hole pattern, uh, you should draw the pattern on, cut them out, uh, and then assemble them onto the spindle just in this fashion. Uh, the disc at the back should be blank with no holes because uh, no air obviously is going to exit out the back. Reassembly, disc, washer, disc, washer, finally disc, and uh, then the bushing. One thing to make sure is that all the holes line up. If they don't line up, the air won't be able to escape properly and this will ruin your efficiency. Um, if you're going to use your turbine with with some form of electrical generation uh, or to use it to drive something let's screw this back together use it to drive something you should glue the discs together or not you should glue the disc to the washer and then to the next one and to the next one and to the next one until you've got a dab of glue all the way right down this pack this will stop the discs from sliding around relative to each other and occluding the air hole. The air injector, uh, I've put a, you can see that, I've put a black felt line up the back of it and this is so that it's, when it's in the housing, you can see that, you can see it rotate when you can see which way your airflow is going. With this turbine, I'm going to include two blank air injectors. Uh, they're pre-drilled. Uh, they've got taps, tapped holes in the back to take the piece of six millimeter studding. If you want to take this out of this one, you just put two nuts on there, lock them together, screw it out, screw it into one of the other ones, uh, pre-drill your your pattern, your hole pattern, or your slot pattern, or whatever you want to organise that. Note also that this is not a perfect circle. The sides are relieved. And that's because you can see that the turbine housing occludes the edge of the injector housing. Um, if that was perfectly round, it simply wouldn't be able to fit in there. So you have to, if you're making this yourself, you have to grind away the edges very slightly so that the injector will fit in the housing. Now, reassembly. If 
at the air injector. Fit this pack. Fit the end housing. to make sure your levers lined up with the uh, black mark along the top of the air injector. This is a bit fiddly. Lovely, and that's so that you can see which way the which way the air's flowing. So that's assembly, disassembly, and modification. <laughs>